Okay, let's look at the third method in solving for particle kinetics. Chapter 15, Impulse Momentum. This method is most useful when time is involved, whether it's given or you're asked to find it. Okay, let's quickly recap. The first method, which we covered back in chapter 13, even second law, force acceleration. Okay, we've done that. Chapter 14, we study work energy method, which was derived from second law. Okay, and so you have kinetic energy on the left hand side, you have work on the right hand side. Okay, and we've done that too. Now, let's look at this method. The third method, impulse momentum. And let's see what it means. Once again, just like the work energy method, this impulse momentum method comes from second law. Okay? It's just that we rewrite the equation, we integrate it. Okay, so let's start with second law. Force and acceleration. Okay? Now, look at this acceleration right here, particularly. Just recall Acceleration is defined as time rate of change of velocity. Okay, so let's bring this in. M dv dt. Okay, so we can rewrite this Newton's second law as m times dv dt. Now we're gonna take this m in there. Okay inside this differential. Okay. Since we're dealing with a particle that does not change in size and mass, so mass is constant, so you can, uh, you're free to take in and out of the differential. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Separate the variables. Move dt over, so we have this right here. All right, next, let's integrate okay. from T1 to T2 on the left-hand side. Right-hand side is just simply D, the whole thing. So we're going to integrate it from MV1 to MV2, where MV, M times V, is called momentum. Okay. More precisely, it's linear momentum, okay, mass times velocity. Okay, so I'm gonna swap these two, all right, left and right hand side. So we have m v two minus m v one equals this right hand side from t one to t two. That's it. This is your impulse momentum equation. Okay? So this equation, again, is based on Newton's second law. And it says the change of linear momentum okay, for a particle <coughs> going from 1 to 2, right, position 1 to position 2, equals this integral. And this integral is called impulse. Okay? So, left hand side, you have change of momentum. Alright? So, change of linear momentum equals impulse. Okay? For a particle going from 1 to 2. And that's it. This is the impulse momentum method. Now, one thing I want to point out that is that this equation is a vector equation. Okay? It's a vector equation. Okay. Unlike the work energy equation, which is a scalar equation. Right? Now for vector equation, which means that you need to first define a coordinate system, okay, let's say you know, i, j, and k, and apply this equation in i direction and j direction and so on. Okay, before you actually start working out you know, the, the details. Alright, so let's look at an example. 